This is the idea of the Hope Center. I find that in Africa today, we have a lot of youth on the streets. They have no sense of belonging, and they have no hope and no way to go forward. With the Hope Centers, what we'd like to do is take some of these youth off the streets, take them out of abject poverty, train them in one skill or the other. It doesn't have to be design, though we will focus on that because that's what I know best. And artists try to help. I don't want, it's a situation now where our youth, they're growing up in fear. They don't know what's going to happen to them tomorrow. So we take them, we bring them in, we teach them, we mentor them, try again to put them out there and, and, and let them make a decent living. And do you envision the Hope Centers in just Nigeria or all across Africa? Or how, how are you starting a, a prototype or you know, your, your vision? It, my dear, it is such an expensive venture. So I can't say that I'm going to spread out all over Africa for now. We're thinking the vision is starting one at a time. Princess Fifi has come up with a way to fund her initiative that also allows her to express her fashion creativity. You know why I just started my label a year ago? I tell you what it was all about What's and the name? why. It's called the Fifi Collection. Okay. Um, actually, it was for the Hope Centers. I thought to myself that I need a business structure to sustain these Hope Centers. Because I found that it's not right. enough right. to depend on kind-hearted individuals totally. and definitely corporations. I mean, I might meet somebody in a bad mood and I wasn't ready to do that. And I thought, look, this is something I have. I can create. So I would take the indigenous, the indigenous fabrics. I enhanced them with stones and sequins. I took them to a completely different level and the proceeds Go, go to, the to Hope Centers. building the, all of the proceeds go to building the Hope Centers. AFW working mm. with the African art. At this stage of her life, Princess Africa Fifi feels it's important to focus on her giving. You know, I was telling somebody the other day that even if I live to be a hundred, I've lived more time than I have left. That's one thing. And you want to see that you have done something. You've left something behind. You've left the world a better place than you found it. What do you want to be remembered for? And there's so many other issues we must consider. Somebody said to me the other day, can you afford these hope centers? And I say, you know, it's not just about me. The truth is, we must rise to this challenge. Can we afford not to? Mm -hmm. Because, <laughs> yes, well yes. Put. Can we afford not to? Because if a system that cannot rescue its poor cannot save its rich mm -hmm. on the day of reckoning. You know, the future of Africa, Africa is in the hands of Africa. And we must all rise to the challenges of the, of, of the continent. So, you know, I was talking about youth empowerment. I want to get to a point where I will look around me and see that I have given so much hope to an entire multitude of people where there was despair and now there's hope. I think that will give me lasting fulfillment and joy.